Alright, so I've decided so when the person gets his lamp and comes in through this door, there's going to be a monster in the other room in a closet area, so we're going to make a closet real quick. Just a real simple closet, nothing huge or spectacular. Actually, I don't need to. We can just build around it. Ooh, that's not cool. Alright, this is going to be our door then, I guess. So, we're going to do doorway 02. Default O2 on this side. Now, place a window here so it's not so plain okay now we're gonna finish building our wall I'm gonna fix that don't worry it'll look good when I get done I'm going to take a pillar and I'm actually going to put the pillar right on the corner yeah that looks nice alright now I'm going to finish building this wall here default 02 rotate it around actually I'll probably put that right there That looks sweet. Alright, now we're going to need to put our doorway. Or I mean our door frame. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to make our door. So, I'm going to go to the door and I'm going to find mansion. entities and find enemy and I'm gonna use the grunt and I'm actually gonna angle him like this okay all right now before I put him in there I'm actually gonna put a few objects in there because it's a little plain in there furniture Oops, furniture well, I'll place him in there, and then I can move him. Furniture. Put a nice sofa in there. Perhaps a few... Go down to storage, and all the bookshelves are in storage, so... If you're ever wondering where those are. I'm actually going to place this one more towards the wall there. And 
and I'm going to go to lamp and I'm going to do a candlestick floor I'm going to place it right in between these two right here I'm going to use my select tool turn off grid snapping and I'm going to push it in between both of these like that and then I'm going to to make it so it isn't on fire all the time I'm going to go to entity tab and I'm going to uncheck lit so now when people go up to it you can just use their tinder box on it I'm also going to add a window right there so we're going to go to this we're going to find a window that I think looks really nice like this one oops, it's backwards there we go, that's nice, now we can make the couch look a little nicer, but drag it a little bit uh, that looks nice, alright now I'm gonna add a few lights real quick so that the window doesn't look so plain and you can turn the radius up to about three and instead of making another one you can just hit edit duplicate or control plus D and make another one to the right of that and on this window over here I'm gonna make a light too a point light because that's how you edit the radius and just drag it up make this one a little bit more up the top a little farther out and turn the radius up to about three I'm gonna edit duplicate drag across I'm gonna edit duplicate pull down and for the bottom ones I'm actually gonna turn the radius down to about two actually 1.5 okay now I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna duplicate that one and I'm gonna drag that one over here and I'll see you in part five